Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com and welcome to this video on projecting your trades into the future. Now, um, what this has to do with is um, taking profits too early, right, is a common problem for a lot of uh, beginner traders, right? When you're um, in a trade, you've just bought at a level of uh, demand, or if you're still trading, you know, support and resistance, but you trade supply and demand. If you bought at a level of supply and demand, right? Or sold at a level of supply, bought at a level of demand. Um, what traders tend to do, right? Is say the market will come down. Oh, one sec. The market will come down right into a level of demand right and then they see their entry and they want to be a buyer right now what happens is is um traders will you know the market will will, will move up right and traders will look in their account right and they'll be quite happy sorry about this drawing right I'm supposed to be a happy person uh and they'll be happy that you know the, they're, they're looking at their account and they're seeing uh, you know profits start to uh, go in you know accumulate right. But your profit is um, unrealized profit right until you take until you press you know take profit on your on your broker's platform right. It's not realized. So what happens is is that the money's going up, money's going up. They're thinking, all right, shall I buy? Shall I um shall I take profit right? Shall I take profit? Shall I take profit? And they think, no, this is gonna you know go to the moon hopefully, and um, you know this is gonna keep going. And what you know what their expectations are is for the market to literally keep going like this right when you're in a trade that's what you expect we all do it right we don't like um you know pullbacks we want to make as much money in as quick time um as possible but what happens in reality um is that the market will pull back right and then what traders see is, uh, you know, their what they could have made, right? Their unrealized profits start to diminish, and then they obviously become, you know, a bit sad. They start thinking about, oh man, um, sorry about the, the the big face, but um, they start thinking to themselves, oh man, I should have uh, taken profit right here. This is why I should have taken profit. The market's not going to come back. And especially if the market does, you know, something, you know, starts to, you know, mess about, right? And so traders will, you know, look at that, start to feel, you know, um, negative about the trade and then take profits too early, right? And think to themselves, all right, a little profit is better than no profit, right? How many of you have thought, about that, you know, I hold my hand up. I've done exactly, I do exactly the same thing. All right now, what we have to expect is at least a higher low and higher high to occur if we are potentially buying at a level of demand or, or an area on a price chart um, where we feel that you know prices are potentially going to run everybody talks about you know the, the 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 trend is your friend but how many of you out there allow the trend to be your friend right how many of you actually get in at the beginning of, of the relationship you know that there's that saying you know you wasn't with me shooting in the gym right this is shooting in the gym right with that friend at the bottom yeah because when the market rises yeah and you know it would say when but if the market rises you want to be right at a minimum right you want to see a higher low and a higher high if you're obviously buying um and this is what you want to see right and which is which is what you should expect to see and this is what you should really be projecting right you should be projecting a pullback right before this even occurs right and let's go back what you should actually see Right, or what you should be projecting into the future is, yes, potentially you could have taken profit here, but when prices pull back, right, expect the pullback. Project when prices are here, right, that you're gonna get some sort of pullback. It's normal, the market moves in waves, there's profit taking, there's new buying, etc. Right. And if you're at the beginning of a potentially new 
trend, a new wave or new higher, 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 low sequence, right? Then project that when prices reach a certain level where you may want to take profit if prices do, you know, go higher and then pull back, don't get, um, you know, feel, feel down about it. Don't look at your unrealized, you know, profit and loss on your brokerage account and think to yourself, oh, maybe I should have taken profit here, right? Expect the trend to be your friend, right? If you believe that this was, you know, this is an undervalued area, because if you think it's undervalued, right, which is what supply and demand um, is, is, uh, is, is supply, demand and value, right? You can't get, you know, Demand isn't demand unless people think that they're buying at a uh, at a certain uh, a bargain or cheap area, right? And if this is really a cheap area, then you have to expect a pullback at least, and then you have to expect a higher high at the minimum, right? So don't worry. Again, this doesn't always happen. The market can do what it wants, but if you have the belief of value, right, then this should really be the minimum. Don't feel that, uh, you know, um, that you should have taken profit here, right? Expect the pullback, project into the future, right? What's going to happen? And then look to, um, you know, uh, take profits, um, depending on obviously higher highs and what your, what your plan is. Now, there is a caveat to that. Let's say, for example, you are looking for, let's say, um, I don't know, 100 pips, for example, right? I tend to go for, um, you know, uh, hundreds of pips on my trades. Um, if I can, at least minimum of uh, of 80 pips, depending on the currency pair. But I tend to go for quite a few hundred of pips whenever I trade. And um, let's say, for example, I meet, you know, my 100 pip target, right? That's my target. That's my plan, etc. right? There's nothing wrong then with sticking to your plan and taking profit, right? And then re-entering on a potential pullback, right? Is and re-entering right here, right? And um, but if you haven't reached the target or you have no target and you're just looking to ride the trend, right? Then expect a pullback. Project into the future, and I'll show you on a price chart next what I'm talking about. And give an example of a trade that um, I took last week, um, which worked out in and didn't work out, um, and I'll show you exactly why um, and how I uh, projected into the future. So yeah, let's get to the, uh, the the price chart. So here we are on the pound dollar daily time frame chart. Now um, this is a level of supply which I uh, sent out to all of my uh, subscribers who subscribe to my email alerts uh, every week. And uh, if you watch my videos, if you don't, if you're a new uh, subscriber to this channel or new watcher to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well and uh, never, never miss um, uh, a, a video. So last week, right, we came up into this level of supply, right? And I wanted to be a seller. So um, let's go down into a lower time frame chart and let's go to bar replay right now. Right, so let's just imagine, right, this is what you saw and this is all you saw, right? And you got in on this nice uh, outside uh, candle, very nice candle, um, nice stop hunt here as well. Um, and you are, you know, very, you, you know, you're, you're obviously short and you're, uh, you're bearish on this um, or bullish on the dollar and bearish on the pound, right? Now, what traders expect to happen yeah, is this, it's for prices to literally shoot straight down. This is what they want to happen, right? Now, we know that the market, as you can see, moves in waves, higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows, right? But when we're in a trade, for some reason, you know, we this is what we expect to happen. Now, um, what actually happens now is we get some price action, price starts to go in, in the direction, right? And then we get this, you know, this bullish candle. Now, let's go back a bit, right? At this point, one sec, sorry. At this point now, you've, you're looking at your account and you're seeing, oh, you know, brilliant. I've made some money, 
probably a one to one made depending on where you put your stop excellent right traders are not really expecting a pullback right which is how the market moves then all of a sudden this candle starts to occur you start to see your profits um, evaporate your unrealized profits evaporate right and you start to see something like this this is where traders will take profits early because they've just seen what they could have made and now they're seeing prices go back against them all right and then this is what happens now what we need to do as traders is project into the future and how could we have projected into the future again if we go back all right let's go back and let's look again at here right now we can see where there is probably a trouble area right and where traders are going to probably be uh, where the market is going to react and it's going to be probably around this area of what traders trade and know as uh, support and resistance right so you've got a bit of resistance here resistance here right resistance here which is really just uh, supply and demand zones projected into the future now if we're projecting into the future right what you want to see right is you want to see something like this take place sorry for the noise outside uh, some, some sort of street sweeper so you want to see uh, this right you're expecting price to react here as this is a trouble area and you're expecting this is what you want to do is project into the future right you expect a pullback and then you expect at least another move down right so when you project this and it actually happens it builds confidence right it you know it's it you're not going to take profits early it's something that um you're expecting to happen you're calm when you get the pullback. You're not, you know, stressed out or anything like that. You're not constantly checking your profit and loss, um, your PL every, you know, 5, 10, 20 minutes, etc. Right? You're expecting this to happen because the market moves in waves, right? And again, as we probably have already seen, right, this is exactly what happens, right? You expect a pullback, you expect a move down, right? expect to pull back and expect to move down now I took profit here right around the one I think it was the one for 180 level just before this uh, this demand zone this daily demand zone and uh, unfortunately and I was expecting a pull back here right but I wasn't around for this uh, for this for this pull back um, and move down um, unfortunately and as we can see if we uh, cancel bar replay right it's gone for um, quite a few hundred pips I was actually planning really planning on getting in um, at the pullback around here but just wasn't around missed it and then because I was projecting into the future that we would have at least or potentially another leg down doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen right I've already made um, 140 odd pips on this one my risk wouldn't have been 140 on this one right um, and I was also expecting prices to maybe, you know, um, kind of mess around before, you know, we eventually got a breakdown. So, and the reason why I do that is so that I'm not, um, well, I get to the habit of doing that is so that it's expected, right? Obviously, I expect to lose first of all, right? My mindset is every trade I go into, it could be a loser, right? Then I have my profit targets and I also expect a pullback as well, right? So um, hopefully that helps with and anyone out of um, out there who is watching this who is suffering from taking profits too early, right? Project into the future, draw it on your charts, whether it's TradingView, MetaTrader 4, etc. right? Draw it on your charts, um, expect, you know, the uh, a pullback and then at least a minimum of a higher um, high and a higher low or a lower high and lower low to occur if you're buying at a level of supply or demand right and um, 
yeah, hopefully that helps. Please like, please subscribe if you uh, if you did like this as well. Comment, uh, email me at info at trading180.com if you have any questions or leave a comment and I'll try and uh, get back to you ASAP. Don't forget to uh, also um, sign up to the uh, weekly supply and demand levels. The link is in the description box below as well as uh, some, other, um, some other video links as well. So take care until next time.